Hi there all to new friends, it's JC. For my last perfect pairing video of 2022, let's take a look at my top 5 favorite crafting items released this past year from Altenew. For 2021, I shared my top 10 favorites from last year. This year, I have simplified it even more to only 5 items. I've chosen a stamp set, die set, hot foil plate, embossing folder, and ink. That's it, and I'll use them together with other crafting basics to showcase my favorites for 2022. First up is my favorite embossing folder for 2022, and that comes from the Craft Your Life Project Kit Fragrant Florals. While this embossing folder is only available as parts of the bundle, I love that this embossing folder has large flowers, foliage, and budding elements to make a complete bouquet, which is sure to take center stage on any card. With that in mind, I'm going to take my card featuring this embossing folder using a simple letterpress technique. I have a panel of cardstock slightly larger than an A2 panel. This is to accommodate any shifting and shrinking from embossing. I'll start by moistening this panel with water from my Fine Mister spray bottle and running this panel through my die cutting machine following the embossing folder sandwich. Once the panel is dry, I'll add Silver Sage Fresh Dye Ink to the text side of the embossing folder, capturing the high spots with ink. Then I'll lock the embossed cardstock on the non-text side of the embossing folder, close my embossing folder with ink, and press the ink through my die cutting machine. Once I have a solid impression of color, I'll trim down my colored embossed panel and add a simple sentiment. Now this card features inks from the Trailblazing Fresh Dye Ink Collection, and while Frosted Foliage is a beautiful ink to add to your Altenew collection, I'll feature my favorite color in a later part of this video. For now, this card has my favorite embossing folder this year. Up next, my favorite die set from 2022 is the Craft a Flower Water Lily Layering Die Set. In a previous video tutorial, I shared the Craft a Flower Sulfur Cosmos and Hot Foil Letterpress Technique. What was so important with that perfect pairing was the detail ridges within the petal and foliage elements. This die set contains those same raised ridges, which is perfect to add hot foil to. After cutting all the images for my card using heavyweight white cardstock, I'll use rose gold hot foil to letterpress the details onto the die cut elements. What I'm left with is rose gold veined ridges. These ridges will resist wet mediums like the fresh dye inks when applied on top with an ink blending tool. With that being said, my favorite ink set to come out this year is the Woodland Escape Fresh Dye Ink Family. To me, this ink family is that perfect blush peony color. I've tried many combinations of ink and watercolors to get something close, but not quite similar to this. Now, it's easy to get the most romantic blush rose color palette, so I feel very fortunate to have this in my ink collection. I assembled the water lily flower and lily pad on top of a panel of craft colored cardstock and embellished the floral scene. I hope that future alternate releases contain layering dies with these ridges so that I can continue to pair my hot foil sheets with my die cut florals. So far we have covered three of my top five from 2022. Up next is my favorite stamp set, Ambridge Rose. This choice is a personal one as I look forward to tending to my home garden in the spring. I have always loved roses and for 2023, I hope to include these cupped shaped roses around my home like heirloom roses or the David Austin roses. To make this floral card, I'm using the woodless coloring pencils on top of a faint gray outline from Limestone Crystal but dye ink. I'll let you enjoy this little bit of peaceful coloring and I'll come back with the finished card.
I arranged my bouquet with other gray outlines of limestone ink from Ambridge Rose stamp sets. And finally, to wrap up this top five, I'm sharing my favorite hot foil plate this year, Sweet Sentiments. I've used this hot foil plate bundle several times in my Perfect Pairing series, and I love that I can keep coming back to this set for beautiful sentiments, especially when paired with the coordinating die set. So that's it for my top 5 of 2022. Make sure you check out the description box to go directly to the crafty items I used today. Thank you for watching another year of exciting crafting tutorials on the Altenew channel, and I'll see you for more perfect pairings in 2023. Hello crafters, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching!